Death Smiles on a Murderer from 1973 as a deliciously deviant slice of 70s horror sleaze from one of Italy's kings of exploitation cinema, Joe D'Amato. Interestingly here though, this is the director's first horror film made and the first time he is actually credited under his real name, Aristide Masakesi. Throwing out immediate overtures of brother, sister incest of a very dreamlike film style with slow motion running sequences, Lady Chatterley's love and naughtiness and a young woman's sexual awareness as a sister flaunting herself in full view of a brother engaging with other men intending to make him jealous. The relationship is heightened to the point where she is killed and the brother feels guilt and remorse for not doing more to prevent her death. A short period of time on in the future and a mystery young woman arrives by horse-drawn carriage at the stately home of the brother's family. The carriage is violently and suddenly overturned and the coachman is killed instantly by being bloodily and gorily impaled in true Joe D'Amato fashion. The girl is unhurt but in shock and rushed into the mansion to be soon cared for by Dr Sturgis. Mercurially here played by the as always intensely characterised invested brilliance of Klaus Kinski. The girl is dazed and confused with loss of memory but a name chain lock around her neck tells the doctor and her concerned hosts that her name is Greta. So sets the scene for Death Smiles on a Murderer with its period piece 1909 setting, a hypnotically haunting film style, a musical score with a mansion of perverse people and staff, designer doused in a Joe D'Amato ketchup jus, delivering a tale of horror retribution from beyond the grave. D'Amato directs with great skill and deploys his magnificent talent for cinematography that he should be applauded for as an outstanding filmmaker rather than all too often derided as an exploitation auteur as this movie delivers sweeping strokes of brilliance and abstract banality like walking through the mind of artist Gauguin feverishly applying brush strokes to a canvas. The film throws out dark secrets as well as, of course, several very gory moments such as a full-on shotgun blast to the face. Klaus Kinski skulks around in his gothic Frankenstein-esque laboratory amongst his plenitude of glass bottles and containers of body part organs, caged mice and tubes and vials of potions and serums. The whole piece imbues a twisted Bronte sisters novel aspect copulated with some Mary Shelley madness and a levacious lesbian orchestra orgy of bloody blasphemy conducted by the Bride of Frankenstein. Dr Sturgis is experimenting on the recent dead with a formula to resurrect. Yes indeed, it's all somewhat of a freakish melting pot of the bizarrely macabre. Make sense of this one and you'll likely have had a winning hand of Jim Rummy around the table with Lord Lucan and Elvis down at the back room of a local bingo hall. D'Amato's consummate eye for capturing the female form through his vast evocations to film of the hardcore porn variety and equal adroitness to garishly visualising graphic gore upon the screen are extremely realistically and well executed here. More bodily fluids are exchanged and expunged than an X-rated episode of Casualty directed by Quentin Tarantino. 
perversely planned yet mesmerically ingrained a true Marmite movie here definitely not for the masses yet unquestionably a minor cult curio for its intended audience breathed new life into with its high definition transfer to Blu-ray from Arrow Video. The connoisseurs of cult have yet again served up a lovely print uncut and blessed with a choice of good English voice actor dubbing the English viewing version of the movie or an original Italian language print with clear set highly legible English subtitles. Displayed both versions in the original widescreen set 185 to 1 aspect ratio with natural rich colour, original fitting grain and old film stock delivering that authentic vitality to the movie's period set proceedings. Just who is this mysterious girl Greta though? Where has she come from? how is she connected to the stately family and just how does Joe D'Amato manage to raise the dead with such equal manic measure be it horror, giallo or porn production. While well, death smiles on a murderer certainly still rises to the occasion here some 45 years on. A hardy 6 out of 10 viewing experience for this one which is an oddball abstract horror ghostly tale soft porn hybrid movie a startling skin flick with a ghoulish garnish and a slow burn mellow dramatic Italian flavour about it taking itself up to a decent overall 6.5 out of 10 rating with the deliriously welcome extra glut of Arrow video special features you get the selectable choice of an audio commentary track by Tim Lucas. D'Amato smiles on death which is an archival 1998 made interview with Joe D'Amato himself talking about the film. All About Eva is a newly shot video specifically made for this release interviewing the Swedish starlet of the movie Eva Orlin. Smiling on the Taboo is a newly shot video essay exploring the horror and exploitation films of movie maker Joe D'Amato. Original trailers and stills and collections gallery rounds things out nicely. Death Smiles on a Murderer cuts a swathe upon Blu-ray from Arrow Video in the UK on the 21st of May 2018. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.